Take a close look at the cars on this road right here in Greensboro. Drivers say it is very narrow. Often cars get right on the middle of that yellow line. You just saw them cross over right there. A man says a bus came a bit too close to his truck, taken off his side view mirror. When no one would take responsibility, he called two wants to knows Kevin Kennedy. Busy is one word you could use to describe Pennery Road in Greensboro. And if you ask Brunson Hunter, small also comes to mind. Yeah, very small. There's no shoulder. Watch as driver after driver crosses the yellow lines when navigating the slightly curving undulating road. Bronson says one driver hit his truck. I saw a bus approaching me. Um, it looked like it was, I know it was going faster than normal. Bronson in his Ram 1500, a city bus in the other lane. Uh, I tried to get over in time and I thought I was in my lane and I heard a pop, pow, loud noise. His side mirror and the buses slamming together, duct tape now holding his on. It, it was not my fault, you know, I'm just driving. Bronson filing a claim with the city and the bus company, convinced the bus drifted out of its lane. I, I wanted to see the video, she wouldn't send me the video. News 2 also asking for video of the accident, and while it took several months, we now have it. Cameras on the bus show the driver on Penry Road. That's Bronson approaching seconds later. The side mirrors collide. I thought my window had broke or something. I ran over something, but then I looked to my side and I saw my mirror smashed up. Watch again. It appears the bus driver is in her lane, but right before the collision, the bus seems to be right on or maybe across the yellow line. Yeah, I think it's just it's unfortunate. It's not fair. So, and I uh, still have to go through my insurance to get it fixed. The video would seem to show Bronson in his lane during the crash, yet the bus company denied the claim. This is one of the things with, uh, but just, I just red tape, I guess, you know, I mean, nobody's going to admit their own, their own guilt. So. so we decided to grab our own tape, measuring the width of the road. I get over even when regular cars pass me on, on his road. In the section we measured, it's 237 inches across. A city bus is 102 inches wide, which doesn't leave a lot of room on both sides. It's too big. Too big to be on the uh, road. We reached out to the city and Keolis, the company that operates the buses, for an interview. Keolis declined, but the city agreed. I, I will say that this, the road itself meets the minimum requirements and standards for operations. As for the accident and was anybody to blame, Keolis determined neither party was at fault. The city never investigated. In the context of the types of crashes that we invest time, energy, and money into investigation. Uh, this did not rise to the same level as a fatality, as a pedestrian strike, as a bicycle strike. So how do a bus and truck collide on a road that meets state standards and yet neither driver is at fault? Anytime there, there's an incident like this, it is unfortunate, uh, but based on the records that I have access to, I don't have anything further to, to provide comment on. We then asked the city if it planned to review this road as a bus route. We were told it doesn't. Bronson not surprised and not a fan of the system. Basically, they said we've investigated ourselves and we're not guilty. <laughs> a $250 deductible later, he hopes his story will alert others to be extra cautious when passing a bus or big rig on Penry Road. Kevin Kennedy. Who wants to know?